Hi, I'm Mick Davis, President of the Royal Society of British Artists. Um, today I'm in my studio and I'm going to talk about one of my works. Okay, it's something that I don't often do. If I would just explain about this particular work. Usually when I, when I start on a work, it, it's quite spontaneous, like with Mrs. Hokusai's hairdo. Other times, I'd, I'd get the idea and it never really resolves itself until one blinding moment when I think, that's it. For ages, I've been wanting to do a drawing or a print of somewhat on a high wire, an acrobat on a tightrope. And that's, it was about being in a position where everybody's looking at you and they really don't want you to succeed. What they come to see is to see you fall off and break your neck. Okay, so that's what it's all about. Whether you're a president of the United States, we'll come to that later, or a politician or anybody in, in who's at the top of their tree, they're up there and they're performing for all the audience and everybody wants them to fall off, they want them to fail, okay? So, I did lots and lots and lots and lots of little drawings. It started off with that idea of someone on a high wire. And it just didn't really resonate with me. So what I thought about was, what if I did fleas? Okay, so you've got this high wire and there's these high flying fleas and you won't be able to see them, but people will look as if they, they can see these fleas um, performing these wonderful acts. And then I thought, mm, that's not quite right. But when I drew it, I drew the fleas going around in a circle. So eventually, and I'm talking about after about a year or two, thought, hang on, why don't we do the circle of light? Okay. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself here because this time last year we were in lockdown. Okay, so it's now March and I started watching CNN. And on CNN I saw this absolutely astounding person called Donald Trump who as far as I can see was the biggest liar I'm not sure you'd be able to say that biggest liar in the whole world he was telling everybody this is fake news this you know I didn't do this I didn't say that when he obviously did and if people didn't agree with him then he'd get rid of them and he'd get his own justice department in. It was amazing. There was 70 million Americans trying to elect an autocrat where the rest of the world were trying to get rid of theirs. It didn't make sense. So that's what this is about. Okay, I then got, it was all that the idea that it's all about the big lie. So you do all these people, all the clowns, okay, all dressed up perfectly, and they've all come to see an invisible funambulist. Now, a funambulist is a tightrope walker, an acrobat. So, when I said about the circle earlier on, that was how I was going to show that's where the invisible person was. So it was the big lie, okay? And people were asked to come and see this show, this, this most fantastic acrobat in the whole world. There's never been anybody like it in the history of acrobats. And they would pay through the nose to see this acrobat. But the beauty of it was, he would never fail because he wasn't there. Okay, so that's what this painting is about. It's about the big lie. In the distance, in the background here, you'll see these little malevolent people. So when these people are watching this acrobat, 
who doesn't exist, the invisible somnambulists. They're there, nicking their money, their jewellery, bleeding them completely dry. That's it, that's the basis of it. So after this one, we come to the final part, which is the colouring in. The actual clue to the painting is in this little border. And it is simply this. If it looks like a duck, if it walks and squawks like a duck, then it's a duck. Except in this case, it's a chicken. In the background, you have these uh, little malevolent, evil looking creatures who are there robbing the audience as they're preoccupied looking at the show. I actually kind of like the, uh, the two bits to the side. That's very important, getting the, the curtains in. In fact, if I have to say there's one part of this painting which I really love, it's the curtains. <laughs> so I guess you could say that this print is a testament to fake news and gullibility.